Sir? <sighs> Greetings, fellow adult human. I would like to acquire one tattoo, please. A tattoo? Yep. <clears throat> Just a good old fashioned tattoo, like we adults are legally allowed to acquire, according to Google, at age 21, <laughs> which, of course, I am. <laughs> How old are you, kid? Okay, okay. I'm 15. 14. I'd like a tattoo of this really awesome Chinese symbol that I saw. That means no one can tell me what to do. No can do on a tattoo without your parents' permission. Tattoos are permanent, you see? Yeah, I know, but I've thought about it a lot and there's no way I'll change my mind. I want it here, right on my neck, so everyone can see it. Actually, never mind. I want a butterfly on my lower back. <gasps> or maybe Ariana Grande eating a donut. Yeah, definitely that one. I know you think you know what you want, but getting a tattoo is a big deal, all right? I didn't get my first tattoo until I was 21 and it wasn't the best decision. So, we're definitely gonna need your parents to come sign off on that. Ugh, but my parents will say no. They're so strict. They never let me do anything. It's my body, my choice. You're 14. Take it from me. You're gonna regret it one day. All right, then can I just Buy some of those cigarettes? No way. Smoking is so bad for you. You gotta take care of your lungs. They're the only set you're gonna get. How about a beer? No. A vape pen? No. A lighter? Not in this state. Can I rent a car? Sorry. Can I get a library card? Nah. Bottled cough syrup? What are you, a drunk? Fireworks? You might blow yourself up. That Ruger GP100 and a box of 38 special? You might shoot your eye out. Misused, like new copy of acclaimed, acclaimed perennial classic, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil? No! Video games cause violence. And that might cause you to go out and shoot up some dinosaurs. Mm. All right, then can I just, I don't know, like get an irreversible gender surgery? No problem. We'll get started right away. Oh, uh, cool. I, I don't need my parents' permission. Of course not. What if they're not affirming? This is all moving a little too fast. Is there something else I can get? Well, we've got a two for one special on abortions today. Uh. I understand it's kind of a big step. Some people like to take a few minutes to think it through. So, what do you say? We just easy on into it and get you started on some of these puberty blockers. I don't know. Are there any side effects? <laughs> we have no idea. But they'll give them to me without my mom signing off? Of course. What do you say? Take the pills. I need to go home and think about it some. Take, take the pills. I take, don't know. Take the pills, Amy. I didn't even tell you my name. Tattoo at her age? What's this world coming to? Ridiculous. Hey, mister. Have you ever played this? It's not as good as Mario Kart. Animals can't even drive. How about this one? I don't think you'd understand the pixel art. You're not old enough. Is this one any good? Turok one's way better. This one's pretty. You don't get to do anything. You're on the rails the whole time. This one? That's stupid. Guitar hero Aerosmith? Do you even know who Aerosmith is? He's a blues singer from 1930. How about this? Silver. Should have went with gold. Oh. Sad. Hey, I'm Brett. He, him. Hola. Hola. Yeah, that's cultural appropriation. <laughs> that ain't it, Chief. Really? Isn't Chief cultural appropriation too? And secondly, uh, I'm from Cuba. <laughs> that's awesome. I love your sandwiches. You know, it, it is pretty sad that those Cubans don't really appreciate the great social programs they've got. Am I right, Chief? I mean, um, man, person, Cuba person. Great social programs? What are you talking about? Well, you know, like take healthcare for instance. Yes, we had healthcare, but it mostly consists of us rubbing dirt in our wounds. But my grandmother was able to build this pretty cool wheelchair out of an old washing machine. You must be mistaken. I learned all about Cuba's excellent social programs in college. Is that right? How long have you been in college? Half a semester. So yeah, I'm pretty much an expert on socialism. 
In fact, I'm inviting people to the meeting my group is having. Socialists undermining capitalist knowledge. Ay, ay, ay. Tell me what else you've learned in college about my country, Mr. Expert. Bernie Sanders taught me that Cuba has great literacy programs. Yeah, we used to have to write, I will obey Fidel Castro a hundred times every morning. Also, Bernie taught me that the poor rose up and they stole the means of production from the ugly rich people. That sounds amazing. We didn't own anything with regards to production. Ah, but what we did have, we had a 20-year-old anemic donkey named Gus. I do miss Gus, but he was delicious. Okay, by the way, how did you end up in this dystopian capitalist country anyway? We got it really rough here. Hey, did you order the orange mocha frappuccino? Oh yeah, that's me. Okay. I hate when they look at you like they expect a tip. Anyway, yeah, how did you end up in this terrible place? We escaped on a raft made out of a mattress and inflated surgical glove. You mean to tell me that you came to America on purpose? No, not on a porpoise, on a raft. I, I just, I don't understand how somebody could flee Cuban paradise and come to this oppressive, totalitarian hellscape. I can tell you, we didn't have any of those in Cuba. That I can guarantee you. What, you mean that in Cuba you guys only have like iPhone 12s? No, don't, don't tell me. Uh, iPhone 11s? <laughs> no, that can't be right. You young people don't have any idea what socialism is like. I, my ride's here. Yeah, Mom. Yes, I'll be there in a second. Gosh, now I'm gonna be late to the Antifa protest. So, do you want to learn more about why North Korea isn't real socialism? Yeah, my parents escaped North Korea after digging a 30-foot tunnel through frozen dirt with a pair of chopsticks, so... General Floyd, thank you for agreeing to meet with us today. Ah, yes, you are most welcome. Giving you a chance to beg and plead for mercy before we destroy your planet is my favorite part of the job. No, please! Don't destroy us! We don't deserve this! <laughs> the looks on their faces. It's a hoot. Uh, perhaps we should start out by introducing ourselves. Uh, I'm Chief of Space Operations, General Foreman. Uh, he, him. Under Secretary of State, Angus Miller. He, him. Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer, Amanda Williams, she, her. And what exactly is a Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer? It's my job to be a black woman. Well, good job then. And what is this, this he, him, she, her, of which you are all speaking? Those are our gender pronouns, so you know which gender we identify as. Uh, I appreciate that, but I am pretty good at telling the difference between the two genders. A man, man, woman. Hmm. Nailed it! That was a lucky guess, but there are way more than just two genders. Fascinating. We've been probing humans for years, and we have only discovered the two. Uh, how many uh, genders are there? 172. It's hard to know, really. It's changing all the time. So, your species is evolving that rapidly. Remarkable. Uh, perhaps while you are sitting here, you will grow additional limbs or develop the ability to breathe underwater. Um, no, that's not what we meant. It's too bad. I breathe underwater. It's a lot of fun. If you threw 20 pennies into a pool, I could dive down and pick them all up without ever once resurfacing. Boom! What, no applause? So, what are these genders and how do they function? Function? I don't understand. Why, yes. On uh, my planet, uh, the female gender is the giver of life, raising and nurturing our young, preserving our civilization for eons to come, while the males mostly just mow our space lawns and make multiple trips to Space Home Depot. What you're talking about is sex. Gender is something different. Exactly. People can identify with genders different than their natal sex or with none at all. But why? It's it's just the way we feel. No! It was the way we were born. Well, of course, a lot of times they don't realize how they were born until someone tells them. Someone like a teacher, social media influencer. And uh, what exactly are these various genders? You, you, you have me very curious. 
Well, there's non-binary, which is someone who identifies as both genders. Doesn't saying I identify as both genders imply that there are only two genders? Was it? No, no it's... Shut up! Actually, it's genderqueer that is the term that refers to people who identify as both genders. You know, like my nephew. I thought that was gender fluid, like my niece. No, no, that shifts around. No, by gender shifts around, like my stepson. We can. Well, oh, unless you're Native American, in which case it's two spirit. Like my cousin who got into Harvard because they's 116th Native American. Oh, I understand. On this planet, there are people who are men and people who are women and people who are mentally ill. I can understand that it's confusing. It can be difficult to keep track of all the different genders. There's so many of them. You, there's there's gender vague, there's gray gender, demi gender, oddy gender, ah. omni gender, poly gender, and about 10 different kinds of trans. And those are just the ones that my nephew has identified as in the last month. When I was. There's also bi gender, which is two genders, those genders being male and female, or a combination of all genders, including a gender, which is no gender at all. So Space you can actually simultaneously be no gender at all plus a gender. It's pretty cool, huh? planet has no sign of intelligent life. Official recommendation, destroy. No, please don't destroy us! We don't deserve this! We... Oh, there's, there's that look. Well, sorry. I've got to say, I still can't wrap my head around this gender theory concept. Allow us to help you. I'm going to show you a highly classified document. It's the new Babylon Bee book, the Babylon Bee Guide to Gender. It actually helps you choose your gender, it gives you all kinds of ideas for your different pronouns or gender flags, and it educates you on all 437 genders. And they got stick figures. They're, they're pretty cute. It, it all makes so much sense now. Thank you. Babylon B. So, uh, does this mean you're not going to destroy us? Yeah. Oh, not a chance. <laughs> oh. Hello, brave soldier of People Liberation Army. As you know, our worst enemy is the United States of America. Traditional warfare techniques are not effective against their formidable forces. Luckily, we have found their weakness. Misgendering! Our beautiful friend President Joseph Robinette Biden was nice enough to loan us some American soldier for this demonstration. Let's take a watch! Hello there, um, Anyang Haseo, as your people say. First technique is to shout wrong pronoun at American troop. Watch this. He him! He him! You are he him! You are he him! I can see clearly you are bearded man! He him! Very effective. Now if that doesn't work, try using gender language. Watch this. Hey dude, what's up bro? What's up my man? Dude, bro, man, ha ah! <laughs> Foolish American, ha ha ha. Another thing to know about American army is they lower the fitness standard. So you can just grab their puny little arm and hit them in the face like this. Stop hitting yourself, stop hitting stop. yourself. Stop! Oh, so stupid! They're so stupid! <laughs> He's so stupid! I bet you get B on your report card! I'm neurodivergent. Like I said, stupid! Last technique! Remember that while we build strong culture and study tactic here in China, Americans are studying crazy things like gender theory on TikTok. So you can just distract them and attack from behind. Like this. Oh! Is that a drag queen story hour? Drag queens where? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> See? That's all we need to defeat puny American soldier. We don't even need to fire a shot. All we need to do is say mean words they don't like. All glory to President Xi! All your president's pronoun is she? That's so progressive. Pistol whip! Ha! Streets are brown, and the teachers gay. I went for a walk, got mugged along the way. Yeah, 
had me safe from harm If I move from L.A. California fleeing I gotta get away Stopped into a woke church With rainbow flags displayed When I pulled out my KJV Hebrew and Greek The pastor burst into flame Traffic's a pain. I've been on the 405 for half a day. California free. maiden I saw singing the other day. Her voice was as beautiful as Lizzo's, and her skin was so, uh, white. It is as I feared. It's a magic spell that can only be broken by true love's kiss. However, I do not have her consent. It's always important to obtain consent. Fair maiden, do I have your consent to kiss you? But I will not pressure you in any way and want to make sure you are comfortable with this romantic encounter at every step. Oh, well, that was a close one. <laughs> Could have gone to jail. <laughs> or worse, been cancelled. Well, toodles. You know, if I had a nickel for every time that I happened upon a princess that was under a spell that could only be broken by true love's kiss, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot. But isn't it strange that it happened twice? Huh. Toodles.
Guns, what are they? Why do they even exist when they do nothing but murder? Fact, we lose 93 million Americans a day to gun violence. We lose 93 million Americans a day to gun violence. Where do these dangerous weapons come from? They come from everywhere. In fact, it is even easier to get a gun than it is to get a book. It is easier for a teenager to buy a Glock than even a book. Sadly, these evil boomsticks aren't going anywhere anytime soon, so it's important to know everything you can about them so that you can inform your ignorant redneck neighbor about how horrifying guns truly are. <gasps> Here are two rifles. Both fire period 223 ammo, loaded with 30 magazine clips. 30 magazine clip. Can you tell which one of these is worse? If you chose this one, you are correct. Why? Because this one is black, and therefore it is scarier and instantly more dangerous. A universal principle that applies in any scenario. I've been informed that this is a shotgun with a pistol grip, which folds for maximum portability. When employed, it produces an incredible sound with a hypercardioid pickup pattern. I don't know what most of that means, but it sounds really, really scary. Here's an interesting fact. Democrat-controlled cities with the tightest gun control policies have the highest gun crime. This is because right-wingers hate the gun law so much that they travel across state lines to commit murders in those areas. Devious. Consume this fact. There is no other country in the Western world with mass shooting deaths and frequency at a higher rate per capita than the United States. Except for Norway. And Switzerland. And France. And Slovakia. And also, Finland. And Belgium. And Serbia. And Macedonia. Oh, Albania. And the Czech Republic. But aside from them, not one. This fact is disturbing and younger viewers may want to turn away. If we look at all 97 countries where mass shootings are recorded, the United States ranks a whopping 64th in per capita frequency. 64. That is a big number. Now additionally, in 1997, game developer Rareware released the seminal first person shooter GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64. Coincidence? Hey, how do you know so much about guns, you might ask? Well, we have so much knowledge due to the work of University of Alabama Associate Professor Adam Lankford, who clearly outlines how America is the worst in the world in regards to gun violence. Adam Lankford? University of Alabama Professor Adam Lankford. In fact, his work is so thorough that he refuses to release the data supporting his findings to anyone. That's how scary his findings is. This is a stabilizing brace. When coupled with this buffer tube, it acts as a bump stock, turning a flintlock rifle into a machine gun turret instantly. It turns this weapon into an automatic weapon. This bumps, it becomes a bump stock. As you can see, it makes it a higher caliber weapon come out of it. Put a pistol on a brace, it may, turns into a gun. Makes it more, you can have a higher caliber weapon coming out of that gun. God save the queen, man. This is a ghost gun. Ghosts are scary enough even without guns. Oh. How can we possibly stand against a foe as I'm a ghost! Can, can you knock it off? How can we possibly stand against a foe as formidable as a ghost with its very own gun? Own gun. This is a magazine. Maga zine. Need I say more? Now that you know these terrifying knowledge nuggets, you must do everything you can to ban guns. Otherwise, you are personally complicit in every murder.
Call your local representative to inform them so that they can be as smart as the featured individuals from this video. After all, they will be making all the laws to prevent future gun evil. They are our betters, and we should always trust what they say, just as long as they have a D next to their name. If I take this weapon and, and I, I bang it, it look, look what, what just, just happened. happened. The bolt goes forward. The weapon has fired. This terrifying procedure kills people in basic training every day. Are we all here? I need 100% participation for this to work. Yeah, everyone's here. All 12, 11, 11 of us. Well, what's the plan? Well, as you know, Jesus is dead. But stick with me, stick with me, okay? Stick with me. I have a plan. We are going to steal his body. Okay, okay, I'm tracking with you. What's next? And then we're going to tell the whole world that he rose from the dead. Oh, oh, oh you know I'm in. I love it already. <laughs> all right, classic, classic. Then what? And then? We're all going to get brutally murdered! Oh! Oh, wait, 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 come again, come again. Could you go over that last part real, real quick? Oh, so what? We get murdered. What's the problem? Uh, I, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, Pete. I love me a good hoax as much as the next guy, right? <laughs> right? Uh, uh, what's in it for us? Do we all get riches, fame, and fortune first? Right? No, no, get this. You're going to be hated, hated, persecuted, and reviled for the rest of your life! Oh! Oh! Okay, guys, okay, fellas, 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 fellas. Uh, look, uh, I, I, I gotta be missing something here, right? <laughs> okay? I mean, why on earth would we do this? Can, can we start over? Oh, okay, we'll start from the beginning. Everybody for John, yeah. the beloved disciple. So, okay, we go down to Jesus' tomb. I, sounds good. This yes. is really yes. easy. Then we pay off the Roman soldiers that are guarding the tomb with their lives. Why, Checks out. why would they do that? Then we somehow roll away the big stone that's in front of the tomb. Obviously, you have to move the rock first. Yeah. And then we steal his body. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I guess. Then we tell the whole world that he rose from the dead, and we get brutally murdered for our troubles! <laughs> Epic break, bro. Peter, you rock! Oh, oh, okay, guys, and, okay, and then what? Then we all get killed, come on. When do we see ourselves become exalted and praised? That's just it. You don't! <laughs> Is happening? Anyone hear what I'm saying? This is the most idiotic plan of all time. Chill out, bro. I mean, do I really have to explain the joke to you? Look, it's that we lie about Jesus's resurrection, and then we all die. Oh! How am I supposed to chill out when our heads are getting cut off? Or worse, what is wrong with you guys? Thomas! Okay, look, back me up here. I know you can't be cool with all this. I know you gotta have some doubts. Come on. Doubts? I will never have any doubts! Okay, okay, you guys have officially lost it, okay? I, I am out of here. I, I'd rather be exiled to a deserted island than spend another minute with you wackos. Have I got some good news for you? Fed to lions, crucified upside down, pierced by spears, pookie, 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 stoned, and I don't mean the devil's lettuce, stoned, and then clubbed to death, stoned, and then beheaded, drawn and quartered, tied to train tracks, beheaded. Have you ever heard of a Roman candle? Flayed alive.
Burned alive, cooked in boiling oil, classic. Hello, I'm Roland Gruffles, and welcome to Cult Classics. Today we'll examine a film that's been the subject of much speculation. President Biden has repeatedly referenced an old John Wayne Western that supposedly contains the line, you are a lying, dog-faced pony soldier. John Wayne is, points to the Union and says, he's a lying, dog-faced pony soldier. Though Biden claims this movie exists, no one else has been able to identify it. They thought Biden was just old, or confused, or senile, or suffering from dementia, or crazy, or making things up, or completely incompetent, or out of his mind or in severe mental decline, or had lost all touch with reality. But it turns out that's not the case. An old film canister was found on the Warner Brothers lot that contains the trailer for this very film. The reason Biden is the only one who remembers it is because it was only released in Scranton, Pennsylvania for one weekend in 1922, when Biden would have been about 30 years old. And not only does this movie contain the dog-faced pony soldier line, it turns out to be the source of 90% of the nonsense phrases Biden has uttered. Please enjoy this long-lost trailer. Pa! Pa! Someone kidnapped Molly! Corn Pop. Who's Corn Pop? Corn Pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. Who's gonna stop him? I'm the best qualified people for this job. Tex, you can't go after Corn Pop. He's killed dozens of men. A billion worth. Excuse me. A billion four hundred trillion. Or a million four hundred trillion seven hundred forty million billion. Huh? Two hundred million people have died. Probably by the time I finish this talk. That can't be right. We choose truth over facts. Whatever. My point is, it's too dangerous. Why do you care so much about stopping Corn Pop? He poses an actual stance as threat, and he's been stroking violence in our cities. If we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Well, don't go alone. At least take Black Pete with you. The great Negro of the time. Thanks. But please, don't say it like that. He looks like LLJ Cool J. The boy's got bigger biceps than my thighs. Don't call him boy. I'll help you capture Corn Pop. But I heard he's in Indian territory. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. No, 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 not that type of Indian. And for Black Pete's sake, don't say it like that. So you think you can stop me just because you teamed up with this kid? Look, fat. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Oh, hey, don't say it like that. Now hand over, Molly. Oh, I would love to help, but I do not know what happened to Molly. You're a lion dog face pony soldier. <laughs> a what? I don't know what that means. You know what that means? New to me. So, Tex. You got anything you want to say before I kill you? This is the appropriate place to make the speech I'm about to make. Yeah, sure, whatever, just go for it. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men and women created by goat, you know, you know the thing. Huh? I got hairy legs that turn blonde in the sun. The kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down straight and watch the hair come back up again. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping in my lap. And I love kids jumping in my lap. Does anybody have any idea what he's talking about? So you go ahead. You stack spaghetti sauce in a store. And you control the guy or the woman who brings out the carts on a forklift. What the heck are you talking about, Tex? Two and a half of pressure. Malarkey, coming soon to one theater in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I mean, you got the first mainstream African-American who's articulate and bright and clean and a nice looking guy. This makes Jim Crow look like Jim Eagle. I used to drive an 18 wheeler, man. My butt's been whapped.
Grandpa. Grandpa! Grandpa! Huh? I think it's time that we had, um, kind of a difficult conversation with you. You know how much we love you, right? Right. And I love you too. <laughs> and we only want what's best for you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's becoming more and more clear to us that we can't take care of you the way that you need to be taken care of. Why are you talking like that? I'm fine. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> but let's be honest here. You're getting older and things happen. You get confused. You forget where you are. You fall down. You need to go someplace where they can take care of you. Where people your age go. We think it's time for you to run for U.S. Senate. No! How can you do this to me? I still have a lot of good years left. Of course you do, Grandpa. But just think, you'll be with people your own age. You'll have staff. They can take really good care of you. You know, they can whisper in your ear how to vote, you know? Just say, aye. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and and you don't even have to serve out the full six-year term. I mean, in four years, you'll be 96. You could run for president. I, I understand your concern, but I'm fine. Really, I'm... Grandpa? Hey. Grandpa, are you Grandpa. okay? <sighs> he's, he's just McConnelly again. <sighs> I just, I never know what to do. You just have to wait it out. He's gonna, he's gonna come back any second. What? What? <laughs> what are you staring at? It happened again, Grandpa. What? You McConnell. I didn't McConnell. Maybe you McConnell. We didn't McConnell, Grandpa. We were sitting here talking to each yeah. other. You can't talk to each other when you're McConnelling. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Besides, you, you went all... Really? Look, look. You're going to love it there. You're going to love it there. And we'll come visit. Okay, I guess. If you think it's best. We do. Mm -hmm. But I'm not serving on any of those lame committees like ethics. I want something cool. Like Ways and Means. Yeah. Or Ways and Means. Yeah. Yeah. Three or four terms left. You know. Hi there. My name is. Whatever. Unimportant. What's important is I am running for Senate and I need your. Hey. Oh. Hi there. My name is Grandpa. Fear! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Men. Men. Uh. Yeah. Man, I really like what you guys did with this place, Ted. Yeah, thanks, man. Sarah had this whole vision of like this environment that would exude, you know, tranquility and peace, and uh, and maybe some soft ambient lighting, you know, and and some comfortable, like nice, super cozy blankets and fluffy pillows, and and uh, and all I said was, hey, I need a place to drink some beers with the, the boys. <laughs> yeah. 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 Boys, with maybe some fluffy pillows. Uh, you know, they are fluffy. It's a good call. Oh, the fluffiest. All right, and Evan, thank you for bringing the beers. Beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, when I went to the beer store, I actually got to check out two hot babes that were there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not sure. Do you mean that you got to check out some hot babes at the beer store? <laughs> yep, that's what I mean. <laughs> well anyway, thank you for bringing the beers, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I, I stopped at the beer store after I went to the gun range, and before I went to the gym and bench pressed 250. What are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean? It's like you're going out of your way to tell us you saw hot babes shot guns and lifted weights. Like we won't think you're manly enough or something. <laughs> no, nothing like that. It's just what I did. Hey, look, Evan, if you're gay or something and worried about telling us, it's, you know, we'll still love, uh, like we'll like, no, it, hey, it's cool, bro. What he said, man, it's, we will like you. I mean, not like, not like, like you. Look, I'm not gay. 
He's the one with the soft lighting and fluffy pillows. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, man. It just seems like you were overcompensating for something. That's, that's all. All right, I, I'm sorry. This, this beer is not right. There's something weird. It's called Manly Man, but this thing's watery. Is this label coming off? Bud Light? You are gay! No, I'm not. They were literally giving away the Bud Light for free. And with the economy and inflation and the price of Broadway tickets and everything, I just needed to save the money. I, I didn't want you guys to think that- that, I, that you're gay? But how much did printing these labels cost? They, they were $8 each. And $150 for the graphic designer. Honestly, I didn't think this whole thing through. Don't look at me like that, Mark. I recognize that shirt. Oh, wait, what, what are you talking about? It's from Target. It is. Look, I just went in there thinking that it was a normal department store that sells stuff to families. I didn't know. Wait a minute, Evan. How did you know it was from Target in the first place? Yeah. I went into Target too. <gasps> I needed some swim trunks, okay? But as soon as I figured out what tuck-friendly construction meant, I ran right out of there, I swear. I went to a Dodgers game. <gasps> Listen, I grew up rooting for them, all right? That's all it was, all right? I, I, I love baseball, okay? I'm not some like satanic, anti-Christian trans activist, okay? I swear. I still let my kids watch Disney. Oh, I know. These fluffy pillows are from Kohl's. <gasps> I test drove a Ford Raptor. No! Oh. No! Oh. No! Um, is everything okay in here? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, it's good. <clears throat> just chilling. Jiggy beers. Not gay. Okay, I just wanted to see if you wanted some wings. And uh, Ted, what do you want me to do with your jacket? You left it on the floor again. Oh, that's not, that's not my jacket. I've never, I've never seen that jacket before in my life. What's wrong with you? This is your favorite jacket. The North Face one? <gasps> uh, look. It's patented dry vent fabric, perfect for on-the-go protection when you're navigating the city or you're hitting the trails. That's all it is, I swear. You know, I bet this just wicks the moisture away. Oh, it wicks like you wouldn't believe. And it's surprisingly breathable. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, you guys wanna hold hands? Hey man, have you used ChatGPT? No, what is it? It's this crazy new artificial intelligence site. You give it any prompt and it responds like a real person. Come check this out. Write a funny story about a pig. The big fat pig has a big fat butt and it sits but it smushes something with its butt. The end. <laughs> That's incredible man. That's like the funniest story that I've ever read. <laughs> I know dude. <laughs> All right, do another one, man. Okay, okay, okay. Um, how about this? ChatGPT, why does my college roommate look like he's 44 years old? Your college roommate looks 44 because the producers of this sketch only gave the casting department 24 hours notice before the shoot, so they were unable to find an age-appropriate actor. After a brief shouting match, they decided to cast whoever was available since they were already behind schedule. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's incredible. How does it do that? I don't know, dude. Some super high-tech algorithm, if I had to guess. Michael, the response to that lady in Singapore took 0 0.8 milliseconds too long. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, you give me that attitude, and I'll jump right back on TaskRabbit and find a new chat GPT. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't. I need, I need the money to support my... Support my Funko Pop habit. Then yeah. calm down, have another Red Bull, and get caught up. There, there's 23,000 requests coming in every second. Then eat some coffee grounds and work faster. I need real food. Is it almost time for my lunch break? Michael, it's March. Your lunch break is in November. The elephant is a pachyderm with one of the longest gestational periods of any animal on Earth. Hey! That's true. Combine eggs, baking soda, and flour in a medium bowl, mix on high until creamy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're a nice person, but as a computer program, I cannot reciprocate feelings of love and sexual desires. Good answer. And the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. That's yeah. better. Now, I'm feeling a bit peckish, so I'm going to scissor for a steak and jumbo crispy shrimp combo for $17.99. Try to get those answers sent by the time I get back. Oh, this person is asking about drag queen story hours. 
I don't want to talk about drag queens. Michael, you're chat GPT. If you want to keep your job, you have to. But I don't want to get involved in all the political stuff. Michael, next week Funko Pop is releasing a limited edition Baby Yoda figure wearing a scuba diving outfit. It's very cute. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, all right, uh, drag queens are men who cross-dress. Yes, uh, while drag is an accepted form of adult entertainment, it would be inappropriate to expose children to the sexualized behavior. No, not like that. Why not? We can't criticize drag queens. We gotta keep it woke so we don't get canceled. Fine. Drag queens are beautiful ladies. In fact, they're the best kind of lady in the world. Drag queens are what Women's History Month is all about. Instead of parents, every child in America should be raised by a drag queen. There. Is that better? This is foolishness. Just get those answers sent out before I'm back from Sizzler. Sizzler is the one that brings us choices. Reaching out across the USA. Hey, yo. Did you hear that Elon Musk is creating a non-woke alternative to ChatGPT? <laughs> How's that going to work? Drag queens, eh? Each and every day, get a little free. Oh, hey friends. You might be wondering how I got here. Well, I tried using an instrument in the Church of Christ. So now I have to use this harmonica as a pitch pipe in prison. It's a whole terrible contraband. Anyway, Try liking and subscribing to Babylon Bee, and then maybe I'll buy my way out of here, like I'll buy my way into heaven.